Welcome to my YouTube channel back. So today we are going to discuss the second part of real numbers. As per our discussions yesterday, we will be discussing the related problems of this chapter. So first question is, show that every positive even integer is of the form 2q and 2q plus 1. And even integer and odd integer they are talking about. So as per our Euclid's division lemma, what is our equation? A is equal to B Q plus R, where 0 less than or equal to R less than B. And in all this question, it is clearly given that our B is 2. So we can say that A is equal to 2 Q plus R. They are asking about even integer and odd integer. We can try for even integer. Any even integer, just we can uh, do that 4, we can take 6, we can take 10, we can take any number. First, if I am substituting for a, that 4, 4 is equal to 2 into which 2 into 2 plus 0. Obviously, we know 2 into 2 is 0. 2 into 2 plus 0 is 4. So, this is in the form of 2 cube, and I don't have reminder, so I don't want to write anything. So, 2 cube form it is. 6 of I'm taking. 2 into 3 plus 0. This is also in the form of 2 cube. If I'm taking 10, if I'm taking 12, any number even you know that it can be expressed as a multiple of 2 and reminder will be 0. That is, this is also in the form of 2 cube. So it is clearly mentioned here, you, you can write every even positive integer in the form of 2 cube. Now we can check for 2 cube plus 1, that is odd integer if it is there or not. We can try. 2q plus 1, even odd integer. So I am taking any odd integer. So we know that a is equal to 2q plus half, same way here. Odd if I am taking suppose 11. So 2 into what? 2 into 5 is 10 plus reminder 1. So this is in the form of 2q plus 1. If I am taking any other number, a is equal to 30. This will be in the form of 2 into 6 plus 1. This is in the form of 2 cube plus 1. So you understood clearly that every even will be in the form of 2 cube and every odd will be in the form of 2 cube plus 1. Clear it is. And if you want to confirm it one more time, we have to do this. You know that this 0 less than or equal to remainder less than b. So what is our b? We already know 2. That is the reminder should be a value less than 2. That is it can be equal to 0. It can be less than 2. That means only 0 and 1 is the possibility. So in this case the reminder is what? 0. In this case the reminder is what? 1. So obviously your checking is correct. And this cross check also you have to do at the last. Then write the conclusion even in the form of 2q and over in the form of 2q plus 1. Correct it. Next question. Show that any positive odd in here only they are asking about odd integer. It's of the form 4q plus 1. This is 4q plus 3. Okay? So 4q plus 3. Same way you can do the checking. Like a 4q. So a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than b. So as we know that a is uh, 4, b is given as 4. So 4q plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than 4. So we know obviously from here only our uh, b, our reminder value, it can be less than 4. That is 0, 1, 2, or 3 only it can be. Now check any number you uh, just if I am taking odd integer I want. So I am taking 9. 9 is equal to what? 4 into 2. That is 8 plus 1. So this is in the form of 4 cube plus 1. If I'm taking 11, 11 will be 4 into 4 into 2, that is 8 plus 3. So this is in the form of 4 cube plus 3. If I'm taking 30, it will be 4 into 3, that is 12 plus 1. This is also in the form of 4 cube plus 1. If I'm taking uh, any other value, 17. So it will be 
4 into 4. 16 plus 1. So this is in the form of 4 cube plus 1. So anyway, we can say that it will be either in the form of 4 cube plus 3 or in the form of 4 cube plus 1. And you just check what is the remainder here. The remainder is 1. Here the remainder is 3. So obviously it, it is satisfying the second condition also. So this both are the same. So we can say that 4 cube plus 1 and 4 cube plus 3 are the positive or integer we can express it as where q is some integer. Okay. Next question. A sweet seller has 420 kg rupees, 130 kg rupees, and they have to stack in such a way that each stack has the same number and take up the least area. So I got my question here. Least area. Whenever if I want to fill something with my most least area, what I what I have to do? What they are asking actually, they are asking clearly regarding the HCF value. So HCF of what they are asking, HCF of 420 and 130. So we know that we have studied that A is equal to B2 plus R. We can apply it here. So this is the greater number. So I am placing A as 420. 420 is equal to 130 into which number? 130 into 3. That will be 390 plus 3. So, uh, then 390. So, uh, now this will go. 130 will go here. So, 30 into which number? 40. 4. So, it will be 120 plus balance is 10. Then again, 30 will go here. 30 is equal to 10 into which number? 3 plus 0. So, yesterday only I have said, wherever I am getting the remainder value 0, that B value of that step will be our so, which is the B value of that? This is A value. This is B Q plus R. So, which is B value? 10. So, we clearly understood that the least area of the tray where we can stack for the HCF of 10. Clear? Next exercise, we are starting exercise 1.1. First, to Euclid's division, you have to find the HCF of 135 and 225. So, 135 and 2, which is the greater number, 225 is the greater number. So, obviously, 225 is equal to 135. In, everywhere you have to write at the first step according to Euclid's division lemma, A is equal to B2 plus R. And then you have to write this 130 into 135 into 1 plus 90. Then 135 I am taking it here. Then 90 I am taking as B here. 90 into 1 plus 45. In the next step, 90 is equal to 45 into 2 plus 0. Now I got again my reminder 0. So this is A is equal to B Q plus R. So where is my B? 45. So what is the HCF? 45 is my answer. And put it in a box. Next question. 196 and 382. So, as this is a very large question, every time you have to divide and check one time. Mostly, you will get the answer there only. Divided by 196, if you are dividing, you will get the answer 195. But most of you will directly write this as the answer. You cannot write. Why? Because we said, so as this is the greater number, 38220 is equal to 196 into what? 196 into what? 195 equal to plus 0. So what I said, where I am getting the remainder value 0, at that place, this is A is equal to B Q plus R. My B value will only be my answer. Most of you will be directly writing 195 as the answer. That is wrong. You have to write 196 because this is your B value of that step. Clear? Next question, 867 and 255. So this is also you can write in the same way. So which is a greater number? 867 is equal to. This question is wrong. I think it is 225. Yes, 225 it is. So 225 into how much? 3 plus what is the remaining then? 192 will be remaining. Then I'm taking 225 here. 225 is 192 into 1 plus you will be getting 30. Then again 192 is equal to 
33 into 5, 165 plus 27. Again, 33 I'm taking it here. So it will be 27 into 1 plus 6. Now 27 taking. So 6 into 4 plus 3. And the last step will be 6 is equal to 3 into 2 plus 0. Because already I got my remainder value as 0. So where I'm getting the B value, that will be my answer. So 3 is my X here. that any positive or integer is a whole. Same way only one question. This is uh, just the way we have discussed with the example. Same way only. So we know that. So you have to do it with the cleared step. I will just explain B is 6 we know and uh, the remainder value as it is less than B as it is less than 6. You can take the remainder value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. So we have to cross check this last step. So write it there and keep it. So any number you can take if I'm suppose I'm taking any old integer they are asking positive old. So if I'm taking 13, so 13 I can express as 6 into 2 plus 1 because 12 plus 1. So this is in the form of 6 cube plus 1. If I'm taking 15, 6 into 6 into 2 plus 3, 12 plus 3 is 15. So this is in the form of 6 cube plus 3. Next if I'm taking 17, it will be 6 into 2 plus 5. That is 12 plus 5 is 15. So this is in the form of 6 cube plus 5. So I have uh, given the example for 6 cube plus 1 plus 3 and plus 1. Now cross check. Here is your reminder 1. Here is your reminder 3. Here is your reminder 5. Yes, it is satisfied. 1, 3 and 5. These can be the possible cases for the reminder. So everybody, thank you for watching my video. And if you like my uh, videos and presentation, please click the like button and if you want my upcoming videos please click the bell icon nearby the subscription after subscribing my channel thank you very much have a nice day